Hi quilters, I'm Erica, AccuQuilt's Corporate Marketing Specialist, and I am here today to show you how to use our free downloadable embroidery for our Go Farm Animal Medley. This is absolutely adorable. We've got three different animals on here, a cow, a pig, and a chicken, and I love that they're designed so that you can even stack them on top of each other. But for today, we're just gonna stitch out our cute little pig. AccuQuilt offers basic embroidery for each of our non-designer applique shapes. Each comes with the, all the basic embroidery formats that you would need and your choice of three different stitches. We've got a satin stitch, a blanket stitch, and a motif stitch. Now to get started, you want to log into your account at AccuQuilt.com and download your free embroidery. Different embroidery machines will need different formats, so be sure you're working in the correct one for your embroidery machine. Now if you aren't sure what format your machine is, be sure to check the manual for your machine or check with your embroidery machine dealer. Now once you've got your embroidery downloaded, you can save it to a flash drive, which I've already done. It's right here, it's plugged into our machine, and it's ready to go. Now today, I am going to do the blanket stitch for our cute little pig. Next up, you wanna get your stabilizer and your background fabric in your embroidery hoop. And I've already got that done here. All that's left is to cut out my pig to embroider. So, I have ironed some lightweight fusible onto the back of my fabric. Now I've got it. Now our pig here, is a directional shape. Actually, all of these animals are directional shapes, including our pig. That means if you want them facing to the right, you're gonna put your fabric right side up. If you want them facing to the left, you would need to put your fabric right side down. Now, we want our pig going to the right, so I am gonna put my fabric right side up. It's gonna match my embroidery. If you want it facing the other way, you would just need to flip your embroidery around. I'm gonna go ahead and cut, put this here. I'm just gonna use a six by six mat. The only place that it's going to cut is where the die is covered with fabric and a mat. If there isn't a mat on it, it's not gonna cut. It's not gonna cut, hurt anything doing it that way. Give a little love here to my mat. And oh, it's still stuck. There's my pig. I'm gonna move this so you can get a really good look because look, the die even cuts the tiny little circle out of the pigtail. Look how perfect that is. All right, so we've got that all ready to go. We're gonna go ahead, get our hoop on our embroidery machine and get stitching. Now the first thing that the embroidery machine is going to do is lay down a placement stitch so you know where to place your shape. So we're gonna get started with that first step. Okay, once that's done, I wanna take my embroidery hoop off of my machine and I'm gonna bring it over to my pressing mat. Now I need to go ahead Pull the paper off my fusible. Lay my pig down. And you want to take time to make sure you get it lined up just perfectly. Especially with our little tail. Okay. Now that that's done, now that we've got the placement stitch and the shape fused on, we can put it back on the machine. It's gonna do a tax down stitch and then it's gonna be followed by that decorative blanket stitch. There we go. There we go, the embroidery for our little pig is complete. 
I know you're going to enjoy using this embroidery with all of your Go Farm Animal projects, and I hope you share them with us on our social media pages. Remember at AccuQuilt, we're here to help you cut time so you can quilt and embroider more.